honestly, I need to make a guide because really, the gems that I'm dropping on y'all for free? Crazy. Crazy. Hey, it's Original Curly J, and today... Don't mind how I sound. I just woke up. I just woke up, but the grind doesn't stop. Okay, we're trying to get this video done. Today I'm giving you guys tips on how to meal prep like a pro. This has actually been a highly requested video for multiple people on my social medias. So I was like, let's make this into a long form video and then I'll do a short form version for all the haters and the people that don't follow me on here. It's fine, it's fine. I know y'all the real ones. I know, I know. Before we get into this, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a huge, huge thumbs up if you're enjoying content like this. I'm gonna start doing more fitness and health related content, so just stay tuned for that. And you know, I did mention my socials before. Why aren't you following me? I'll give you a moment. Yeah, thank you. And without further ado, because we have a lot to get into, let's do this. So for those of you that don't know, meal prepping is basically setting up meals for the week or however amount of time you want to, to reach certain goals, or to just make your life easier because your schedule doesn't really allow you to cook throughout the week. So you spend just one day cooking a bunch of meals, that way you don't have to worry about where you're gonna eat. A lot of people have trouble meal prepping or sticking to meal prepping because they don't know what to do, or they start to lose track of how to actually meal prep effectively, which is why I made today's video. So let's get into the steps of how to meal prep. First step is that you wanna figure out exactly what it is you're trying to do. What is the purpose of meal prepping? What are your goals and what makes you want to meal prep? First thing I want you to do is figure out your macros and your calories that you want on your day-to-day -day goals. Now, if you don't really plan on using meal prepping to lose weight or bulk or cut or whatever the case may be, and you simply just want meals made that way you don't have to worry about eating out, then that's fine, skip that step. But even if you want a body recomposition where you're not necessarily losing weight or gaining weight, you're just trying to reshape your body, you still need to be in a slight deficit of 200 to 300 calories from your normal. So if we're meant to eat 2000 calories a day, you wanna be eating around 17. Next, I want you to figure out what your daily protein intake is going to be. And I want you to push for over 100 grams a day of protein. Now they say do a gram of protein with one pound of body weight, but as long as you're getting over 100 grams of protein a day, I can assure you, you'll be okay. It's a good first step. We're not trying to have 200 grams of protein right now. You can build up to that. So right now, just push for over 100 grams. And then again, try to figure out what you're trying to do. Are you trying to lose weight? Are you trying to bulk? Are you trying to cut? Are you trying to body recomp? Or do you just wanna be healthier, stop eating out and have meals prepared? Figure out what your goal is. Sorry for the camera change. I literally just messed up my tripod accidentally. So if it looks a little different, that's why. But then I also want you to figure out how often do you wanna eat? Do you want intermittent fast where you eat in a 16-8 ratio? 16 hours a day you fast, eight hours a day you eat, or in an eight hour time period you eat? not eight hours of just straight eating. Or do you wanna do the basics? Do you wanna do three meals a day, two snacks, just three meals and no snacks? Figure out exactly what it is that you want to accomplish and how often you wanna eat and the time frames that you wanna eat. Figure that out too. Now that we have that out the way, step number two is to set up your meal plans. I'm gonna put a picture of the meal builder that I use right here that a good close friend of mine actually sent to me. And ever since she sent it to me, I have been using it. This is so much easier to finally set up meals and not have to overthink your macros or what you should be consuming inside of one meal. And remember, you're gonna eat whatever you want. We're not depriving ourselves of the things that we enjoy most but you need to fit in what you wanna eat inside of that calorie deficit or inside the protein goals or inside of whatever it is your goals were inside the beginning, you're trying to fit your meals into that. So just keep that in mind because you can eat whatever you want. It's just the amount that you eat. Eat a serving size, not three serving sizes. You understand? Eat till you're full, not till you're stuffed. Do you understand? Mindfully eat. But anyway, that'll be a different video. Whole different video, we'll talk about that later. Right now we need to set up our meals because you have to meal plan before you can meal prep. So think about what your main meals are gonna be made out of. Now, according to our little helpful chart up there, your meals wanna consist of a protein, a veggie, a healthy carb, a healthy fat, and some seasoning because who likes bland food? I'll give you a very bland example of a meal, but just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So the example is chicken, rice, and broccoli. You use olive oil, which is a healthy fat, to cook the chicken, and then of course season it with salt and pepper if you'd like. And boom, there's your first meal. So honestly, you can create a list of meals like this. You can go on social media, find different types of recipes on there. So that way you can pick through this list for the following week and you won't have to eat the same thing over and over and over again for months at a time. Same thing with snacks. If you are gonna be someone that is 
gonna consume snacks, then you wanna write down what type of snacks. Now remember, snacks are snacks, not little meals. So they should be very small and to satiate your hunger until your next meal. You can do adult Lunchables with like little cheese and crackers. You can do some yogurt and some fruit. You can do rice cakes with peanut butter. You can do whatever you want, but go ahead and figure out what those snacks are. And then I want you to figure out different ways that you can add in some more protein if the meals that you already have set aside is not enough for your daily intake. Again, we're trying to reach over 100 grams, which is not hard to get to, but your main meals have to be pretty large in size in order for you to get that. So you can just use protein supplements until you can build it up even more. Like for me, I use protein powders and protein bars or protein rich foods like protein pasta, which they now sell. Isn't it great? Or cottage cheese added to a sauce when you're making pasta for the week. There are plenty of ways to add more protein. You just have to do your research and figure that out. And those different ways are easily gonna give you that 100 grams or more. All right, so we've got the basics, we got our meals, we got our snacks, we got our protein. Now I want you to try to plan for at least one week, at least one week. Because realistically, most produce is not gonna last that much longer than a week. So we just wanna aim for one week because you're gonna have vegetables in there and you're gonna have fruit in there. And I'm not saying just plan one meal for the whole week. I'm telling you to plan the three meals for the day and possibly your snacks. At least have in mind what you want for your snacks. So I'm talking breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now you don't have to make specifically breakfast food for breakfast, but just have three meals planned for your day. And again, I want you to have fun and be creative with your meals. Right now, it's at the beginning, you're gonna create very bland, boring meals, which is normal. You're just now getting into it. And eventually over time, use your resources to your ability. TikTok and YouTube Shorts has plenty of recipes that you can look at. Easy recipes, I'm not talking about something crazy, but for right now, just make up the basics. So that way you overwhelm yourself because you got to get used to the habit of actually meal prepping before you start adding all that stuff. And now that you've created your meal plan for the next week, I want you to go ahead and make your grocery list from that meal plan. Write down everything that you're going to need for specifically that meal plan. Again, that snacks included or if you're going to add in dessert and you made room inside your calorie deficit for dessert, add that to the list. Make sure everything is going on that list because you'll need it for the next step. Next, I want you to go ahead and go to the store. It's time to shop. When you go to your store, I want you to have a budget in mind. Now I know I'm gonna have people in the comments, inflation, I can't really meal prep on such a small amount of money. Well baby, if you eat out every day, you have enough money, trust me. Just as an example, me and my family, we are a family of five inside this household. And when we have dinner, I am able to make a full meal for five. I am able to take $40 and make an entire meal for us. So if I could do that for one meal, $50, $60 should be plenty for the week for yourself, okay? And it'll be cheaper than eating out. And remember, that's three meals a day. So trust me, you could definitely meal prep on a dime. If you have to, go a little bigger so that way just in case, you have some wiggle room, but I doubt you'll have to go above and beyond that. I also want you to consolidate and use one item for multiple meals. What do I mean by that? For example, this pack of chicken breasts that I get from Walmart is usually around $12, but I'm the only person that I'm meal prepping for, so this pack of chicken goes for about two to three meals, depending on what it is. So what do I do? I cut up the chicken and I make it so that way I have three separate meals, put it inside Ziploc bags, two of the Ziploc bags go inside the freezer, and then the one that I'm using for the week, I just cook right then and there. What does that leave me with? Two more weeks of chicken breasts for other meals for the next other two weeks. So really I just spent $12 as the investment for the chicken breast, which is actually gonna last me three weeks worth of meals. Or I could do you one even better. Let's say I'm gonna use chicken for lunch and dinner, two different meals. Well, I could use one pack of chicken. I could use two of those portions for lunch and dinner and then have that extra pack for next week. There are ways that you can make it spread. That is just one example. Rice is another example. Beans is another example. There are ways that you can spread some of those foods to go into your following weeks for meal prep. You can figure out other ways to use those types of foods inside your following week. And the last thing I wanna say for this section is to not buy anything not on that list. You hear what I'm saying? Do not. In the grocery store, we get a little sidetracked. We see some things that we might like to try. But listen, the point of meal prepping and meal planning is to stick to your goals. If you go out of your list that you already made for your goals, specifically for your meals for the week, and let's say you get a bag of chips, you didn't calculate that inside your calories now, did you? So you should have thought about that when you were doing your your plan when you were doing your grocery list, but you didn't. 
So let's leave them there. We'll add it to the next week's list, okay? You don't have to buy them right now. You know, just we'll wait for the next time that you meal prep and we'll buy them in and you add it into your calories this time. Take a picture of it. I don't care, do what you need to do. But try to stick to your budget. That's gonna help you save money. And again, it's gonna keep you on your goals because you already made it according to your goals. And the last and final step is to finally cook your food. Don't make this complicated. The best thing that I like to do is to prep all of my fruits, veggies, and just cut it up ahead of time. And then I cook everything just in one day, one period of time, just for a couple hours, just to get out the way for the week. And yes, I'm talking about everything. Cook everything at once, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Get your snacks ready, everything. So that way it makes your life easier throughout the week. And make sure that you try to do this on one of your like rest days. You know, if you have a day off during the week, just try to get this in there on your reset day. Remember, don't be scared to season. Make sure you season up that chicken, that steak, those veggies. It'll just make it taste better. And then you can change up the seasoning every single time you meal prep. So that way it doesn't get boring. And like I said, we're trying to work smarter, not harder. So right now I'm cutting up lettuce that I'm gonna use for salads throughout the week. So that way I don't have to cut the lettuce the same day and it's already set. And I just have to put it inside of a bowl with some chicken and Caesar dressing and boom, boom, bam. Another tip is to make sure that you're making enough food for the amount of days that you're gonna be eating that particular food. So don't make two portions of chicken if you're gonna have chicken for five days straight. For your containers, I highly suggest going to Ross or Burlington. They sell these large quantities for such a cheap price and they have ones um, with like compartments, no compartments, or even tiny ones like this. And trust me, they are a game changer. So once I'm finished cooking all the food, I just put them inside the container so that again, they're easily ready for me. Another tip I would suggest is portioning out the meals ahead of time. So putting them inside their correct portion sizes for whatever time of the day you're gonna eat them. That'll make your life 10 times easier, but some foods require assembly. Like today I'm making things that I'm not gonna assemble right now, but I will assemble when I'm ready to eat them. But portion them out if you can. So my meals for a week is going to be fajitas, chicken and steak fajitas with low carb tortillas. And then chicken Caesar salad, of course, one of my favorites. And I'm gonna have for breakfast, turkey bacon, strawberries and eggs. And then for a snack, I do these rice cakes with protein peanut butter. Wow, that was a good video. Tell me it wasn't, tell me it wasn't. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you found it helpful, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below if I should make an in-depth like template or something and give to you guys for free. Because honestly, I think that would be really helpful. And just in case some of this information wasn't very helpful in terms of just the video, I could really do an in-depth page of how to do it and then also provide templates for like your grocery list and your meal planning. So let me know if you're interested in that because I really will do it. Also, like I said, I do share my recipes over on TikTok and I actually share them on here on YouTube Shorts. So if you're curious, go ahead and follow me on my socials as well. But I love you guys so, so much. You got this. Let's start being healthier. Let's stop eating now and let's start making our lives easier for real. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye.